Tony Kanaan in the Freak Nation. And Tony, one of the problems that I have, first of all, I'm just a little bit older than you, is, 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 having, is having the ability to take things in. You're looking at me like I'm about to no, no, I'm no, not. No, no, you are. Take things in and process them solely as they come about. I, I just have a tough time doing that, meaning enjoying my daughter growing up or enjoying a certain moment. You've enjoyed some killer moments in your life, winning the championship, winning the Indy 500. Now, an alleged retirement, are you able to sponge this and soak it all into where five years from now you'll remember it and how it feels doing this? Well, first of all, I'm baffled that we're all still around. Yes. We should not be around. <laughs> None of us. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like, it's a miracle. But no, okay, I mean, honestly, yes. I think uh, everything happens for a reason, and, and I believe it at the right time. I think when I decided to retire three years ago, it was not the right time. And, and then, luckily because of a bad situation, which was COVID, when we showed up and these, these stands were like exactly like this right now. And I said, I can't go away like that. And now, yes, because I'm actually enjoying everything about it, right? I mean, we just talked about it. See your daughter. We had an interview 10 years ago, the exact date, like three days before this day, because this is actually, today was the day that I won the 2013 Indy 500. <laughs> And this person was had your daughter in, yeah. in her bed, and my son, my son was four, five years old. So it is the right time. I will remember forever because I'm enjoying every bit of it, even the stuff that I thought was a pain mm -hmm. during the month of May, all the interviews and all the appearances and the dinners because you're focused on the race and the race. And uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. What I like about this Indy 500 is when you won in 2013, people thought it'd be a great story. If Tony finally wins one, it wasn't with one of the top-notch teams. It wasn't. But now you're with one of those teams where you're not expected to win it, but you're expected to win it because of the gear that you have underneath you. Right, and which is a big responsibility. That's actually the only reason that I came back. I mean, I was fine last year. I finished third. I'm going to go home. And Zach Brown calls, says, hey, you want to join Aaron McLaren? And they had finished second and fourth. I'm like... We, can, we have one more shot, so, but obviously all the eyes are on us. What kind of conversation did you have with Lauren before, before hopping in the car this year? She actually, she's the one, she was so mad last year that I didn't win. I got out of the car, I was like, well, it happened. She's like, what, what happened? I'm like, what do you mean? You're the king of restarts. Why you didn't pass those? Two? She was truly mad. Um, the decision, I mean, and again, people have the wrong perception about what Tony Cannon is going to do after Sunday. I mean, I'm not driving an Indy car anymore, but I'm not going to go to the beach and have a margarita for six months. I'm, I'm still involved with the team. I still race the stock cars in Brazil. I do SRX with Tony Stewart. Like, Lauren's like, okay, who are you fooling? This is not a retirement. I mean, I'm, I'm more gone now that I was before because racing IndyCar full-time wouldn't allow me to do the stock car races, wouldn't allow me to do the SRX. Now I come to the, all the IndyCar races that I'm not racing, 12 races in Brazil plus that. So the conversation was, she's like, actually, she's probably kidding. She's happy that I'm out. You bring up Lauren, and I see how competitive you guys are. You say she was more upset than That's you were. Like, exactly. But is that instilled by you? Because she's in phenomenal shape. I know you are one that's constantly working out. Is this something like you do your triathlon, she's following you on the bike? Is this something that's been instilled by you? Crash, I think that's a mentality, right? I think we, you know this because you guys have been together since I've known you guys, and it's been a long time. You, good or bad, you influence each other, right? In right? the, the good ways and the bad ways, and that's the way a marriage is supposed to work. And I, th I would say that's me. I'm always the exercise freak. Uh, she was not non-exercise freak, but she was not that bad. And then, but then you set examples, and then you nowadays you see all our four kids. They're all ripped. My Leo is here. He's always showing me. He's like, hey, look at this, Dad. Look Nina, this, Dad. I know. Is it Nina's Nina, ripped? Nina's ripped. <laughs> They, I mean, they wake up every morning and Lauren's gone working out and I'm working out at home. That I, that's the deal that, that we have. And they see me on a treadmill on a bike. So now, Deco, and, Deco is eight and Max is six. They both run on the treadmill for a little bit. But, and Nina, every time she sees it, she's on the side. So 
I think it's a way of living. It's it's nobody's like there is no competition at home. Like I, oh, Lauren, you have to be a certain shape. No, no, no. I, I meant for shape. fun because your personality is fun. But yeah, but you can't you cannot even compete. Like she's so much cuter than me. I mean, I don't know what. Well, you know, of course. What, what these people saw on us, we're just lucky. <laughs> okay, so then with Brazilian stock cars with SRX, and I hope you saw my tweet yesterday trying to get you. You know, Lucas Oil Speedway. Thank, Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so with this. Is there an end time? Are you just like, you're playing things by ear. You're just, everything is just on the fun scale of life right now. Well, I'm not retiring anytime soon. Right. I'm retiring from IndyCar, right. but I mean, the racing, that's, that's what uh, it's going to allow me to do more of the fun stuff. Do you want to go race? Whatever has wheels in the steering, I will go to. So, no, I'm not going anywhere.